Hi, I'm Paul Millen. We're here at Tanui Forest Park and um, we're looking at some eucalyptus quadrangulata that are right behind me here and uh, I'm going to be showing you how to do a pruning lift. It's a low pruning lift on these trees, uh, trees that were planted in 2010 and uh, they had a little bit of a form prune um, earlier on uh, to make sure we had some reasonably straight strong leaders growing and we're now back uh, five years later and we're to select some trees to give a, a pruning lift to start creating clear wood because the removing, removing those lower branches ensures that the butt log then uh, develops clear wood. You can see here these are prune wounds from the form pruning that was done when the tree was younger and that's ensured that we've got this nice straight stem. Uh, before you start you should be looking at the entire stem and, and getting a sense of how far up you're going to prune because you don't want to remove more than about 40%, 50% maximum of the green crown. So it isn't half the height, it's actually the green crown. So a tree like this which has actually lost the lower branches and, and there's no living um, leaves wouldn't count. So you really have to count the green crown from the base of the green crown to the tip of the growing stem. And if I look up the stem, I, I, I can see this branch here is about as far up as I'll be pruning this tree up to. And I'm uh, 1.8 metres roughly, so you can see that's getting up to around 2 metres, which is a good height. It, it, it's, a, it's a fairly standard lift to prune a couple of metres in that first lift. So I'm going to show you that with these dead branches, and they're small, you can actually just knock them off the pair of gloves. And, and they'll just fall out. These branches just break out re reasonably easily because they've already um, well and truly dead. But if they're left there, they'll continue, some of them will persist and you'll grow a black knot. These ones have died more recently and you can see they're not coming out so easily. So I'll start using the, the loppers now. The wood, you can hear the, the tool having to work quite hard it's very hard wood and it pays to just take your time don't cross the blade over as you're pruning and and don't be too concerned about leaving a bit of a pruning stub um, you can see there's about a 10 mil pruning stub on there but there's been no damage to any of the rest of the stem and that's important so I'm about to use the ladder now to finish pruning this tree when you're using a ladder the first thing is to make sure you Put the ladder, place the ladder up against the tree in a stable position and where the ladder's level when it's being placed up against the tree so that when you climb it, it won't suddenly lurch sideways and tip you off. So it's pretty important to make sure the base of the ladder is stable and in the right position before you actually start climbing it. Having done that, it's fairly straightforward. Climb up the ladder and then remove the limbs as you can best do that from the position that you have on the ladder uh, as you climb up. 